The brain is an extremely complex organ made up of numerous and distinct cell types. Broadly speaking, the cells fall into two categories, neurons and glia. Rett syndrome has long been considered a disorder caused by dysfunctional neurons. In 2009, RSRT scientific advisor Dr. Gail Mandel showed that astrocytes, a subtype of glia, were also involved in the disease. Today, Nature published a study led by Dr. Jonathan Kipnis, authored by Noel Derricky, Jim Cronk, and colleagues, providing strong evidence that another type of glia, called microglia, play a major role in Rett syndrome. The work was funded by the Rett Syndrome Research Trust and the Rett Syndrome Research Trust UK. Though microglia are found in the brain, they are not made in the brain, but in bone marrow. Dr. Kipnis, a neuroimmunologist from the University of Virginia Department of Neuroscience and colleagues, hypothesized that if microglia and RET were diseased, then perhaps repopulating them with new microglia via a bone marrow transplant might improve symptoms. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. In the first experiment described in the Nature paper, the team used male mice that have been genetically engineered so they have no MECP2 protein. If left untreated, these animals develop symptoms reminiscent of children and adults who have Rett syndrome. They are small, underweight, have disordered breathing with frequent apneas, they tremor, show decreased mobility and abnormal gait, and if you hold them upside down, they clasp their hind limbs in an unnatural fashion. Derricky and co-authors took four-week-old male mice just as they were beginning to show symptoms and irradiated them. The purpose of the radiation is to clear the blood, brain, and immune system of most of the mutant immune cells. After irradiation, the mice received a bone marrow transplant from a healthy donor mouse. The donor marrow repopulates the host, making new blood, new immune cells, and even new brain cells. Several months after transplantation, the mice looked remarkably well. While the untreated mice were by this time very sick or deceased, the transplanted mice were close to normal in weight and size, including the brain and spleen. They had no tremors, and their gait and mobility were almost as good as a typical mouse. Importantly, their breathing, which had been characterized by frequent apneas, was also vastly improved. Male ret mice typically die by 10 weeks. Today, almost a year after the transplant procedure, the oldest of the treated mice are still alive. The scientists were able to see evidence of microglia repopulation once they explored the brains of the transplanted mice. The donor bone marrow had been infused with green fluorescent protein, called GFP, so the cells could be tracked. Post-transplant, many new microglia were detected populating the mouse brain. The Kipnis lab then turned to female mice and performed the same procedure in two-month-old mice. Irradiation followed by bone marrow transplantation. Like their male counterparts, female mice were also spared from developing Rett symptoms. Next, the scientists set out to reproduce the transplant using a genetic engineering approach. Since microglia are part of the innate immune system, the cells we are all born with, they created mice that only express the MECP2 protein in innate immune cells. These mice, like the transplanted mice, also fared much better than the typical RET mice models that are completely MECP2 deficient. Unlike those mice, which are very sick, these mice exhibited near normal size, weight, mobility, breathing, and lifespan. This experiment emphasizes the importance of the innate immune cells to the pathology of RET syndrome. A key job of innate immune cells is to defend against infectious pathogens and act as a defensive cleanup crew. In a process called phagocytosis, innate immune cells like microglia engulf and digest foreign invaders, dead tissue, cell debris, and bacteria. 
The scientists inhibited phagocytosis with a drug called Anexin-5 to see what would happen. They injected the drug into mice which had MECP2 only in innate immune cells. With the process of phagocytosis inhibited, debris accumulated in the brain and RET-like symptoms reappeared. The scientists concluded that the MECP2 deficient microglia are unable to properly eliminate debris, and as this debris accumulates, the neurons can no longer function properly. The slow buildup of debris and the resulting neuronal dysfunction may contribute to the delayed onset of RET symptoms in children with RET syndrome. To summarize, the key findings from the Kipnis lab are repopulating the brains of both male and female mice with healthy microglia via bone marrow transplant arrested the development of severe RET symptoms. Mice with MECP2 and only their innate immune cells, like microglia and macrophages, are much healthier than mice with no MECP2 at all. This speaks to the importance of these particular cells in the pathology of Rett syndrome. Impaired phagocytosis by malfunctioning microglia might contribute to the underlying cause of Rett symptoms. Bone marrow transplantation to replace malfunctioning microglia with healthy microglia may be a viable therapeutic approach for individuals with Rett syndrome.